Hey Poonam, uh, welcome to One Minute CM Show. Uh, hey friends, we have Poonam today. Uh, she is uh, a banker by profession, but uh, she is a theatre artist and she's continued her passion for uh, uh, anchoring, acting on stage and she's done a lot of stage shows uh, and she's hosted a lot of events. So with good experience, so I'm feeling a bit nervous, uh, you know, uh, doing this particular show with somebody who's got so much of experience. But great passion, uh, Poonam. Thanks for joining in today. Uh, she is also a mom uh, for three kids. Uh, you know, one eight-year-old uh, daughter and uh, the two new twin, uh, twins who are just uh, three months old. So, how does it feel? Can you just introduce about yourself, Poonam? Yeah, thanks, Ravi. Uh, good evening to you and to all our uh, wonderful viewers. At the outset, I must say it's a, it's a brilliant opportunity. Thank you, Ravi, and thank you, uh, my dear friend Adeline, who's been quite pushy actually getting me to talk to you. Uh, yes, you rightly mentioned I'm a mom of three beautiful uh, daughters. Uh, twins is tough. Hats off to <laughs> all the mothers and uh, you know, without, without a doubt. So, um, mm -hmm. Yeah, you mentioned that I've been an anchor and, and this is a new experience for me because I've always been the interviewer rather than the interviewee. So, I've, and I'm also, go, you know, keeping score of how you do and how I do. Let's do comparison later on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I've seen your other videos. I think you are a brilliant host. So a lot of pointers for me as well for my forays later. But uh, yeah, so I've been a theatre person by passion. It's been close to 14 or 15 years that I've been doing theatre. Uh, it mm -hmm. gives me a high, it gives me a rush being on stage, connecting with my audience. Um, I've mostly been doing women-centric uh, plays. That's a subject that's very close to my heart. Um, mm -hmm. I've done plays in both Hindi and uh, English. I have also... Um, I'm very proud of the fact that I'm an academician. I've done my BSc, MSc, LLB, mm -hmm. and my MBA from uh, IIM Ahmedabad. So, why do you guys do so many things? It's so tough for the anchor to introduce the list of things. You know, why, why is it you make uh, make it so painful for people like me? Oh come on, with love, but you should also look at it as an inspiration. Ki, you know, at least people are coming forward, studying, and I, in fact, I did my LLB when I was eight months pregnant. I did mm. my uh, MBA when my daughter was about six years old. So, more than uh, giving credit to us, I think that there should be a lot of credit to the family. Uh, my husband has been very supportive. My mother-in-law has been very, very supportive. And uh, now that I'm working with the bank, she says, I want to see you at the top. So, that is the kind of support system I have. And, you know, like Indra Nui also mentioned in one of her interviews that women can be the biggest support for other women. So I think that's the kind of environment that we need to create all around and confuse people like you, Ravi. <laughs> <laughs> a good one. Awesome achievement because the, we, so we still have a, a large percentage of women who give up after, you know, they, they get married or, you know, they have kids. But awesome. And, and you're doing this show while your kids are just three months old. So... Yes. My mother-in-law is taking care of them. She said, go, go, you know, be yourself, be free. So yeah, touch wood, very lucky. Good, good. So we want to yeah. get, uh, to, we want to know you uh, better. You know, our new friends want to know you better. So can you get into uh, the rapid fire questions? Oh, yes. Pretty yes. Do I get a hamper after? Yeah, after lockdown, yes. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Okay. So, what what is the inspiration for you to get into acting? So, what happened? When it happened? And how did it get into acting and theatre? Um, I don't want to sound very, um, you know, small as a person. But yeah, this works for me. I It gives me a thrill to be on stage. You know, the applause, the appreciation, the fact that you get into somebody else's skin, you know, you understand a completely different character, you study the emotions of that particular character, and then you sort of take inspiration in real life as well. So these are the things which, you know, uh, work for me. The fact that, you know, the audience comes up and tells you, yes, we resonated with it. There was a particular play in which I played a mother who lost her child. 
and when we were mm. rehearsing i would always break down and then my sir would tell me ki you have to learn to detach yourself from these emotions so when uh, you know when you when you bring all these things together i think it it's a, it's a wonderful dish that comes and all this works for me so so kab hua tha like you know jab pyar hota hai wo those thunders fall wo shock lagta hai current lagta hai so when was this when was this moment when you got into acting the first time this was in college uh okay. i had auditioned for a play a mahesh dattani play wherein mm-hmm. uh, i played a pregnant woman who kills her father in law for money not a very inspiring <laughs> okay. uh, story but uh, uh, you know i think the whole concept of rehearsals and being on stage um, that was yeah my aha moment you know super so how does it feel to uh, you know this situation where you're like you know there are no shows happening and you know um, the acting would have you know stopped uh, not because you you uh, uh, mother of two now but uh, due to pandemic so do you think that you will get a chance uh, again to do this uh, where people will start coming to theaters soon not anytime soon given that uh, you know i think the entertainment industry the travel industry has sort of taken a back seat uh, in a lot of ways but um, yes i think people would want to unwind after some time but given the fact that uh, you know technology and online uh, online teaching online entertainment is going to be the new normal i think we as artists also need to adapt ourselves this has happened with me on stage i uh, one of my mics also broke down and the audience is screaming here is sunai nahi de raha hai sunai nahi de raha hai and i was very jittery ki oh my god now what do i do but you know this ability to be on stage also makes you uh, think on your feet so then i went back so i removed my mic i came back and you know sort of increased my volume so that's the ability that we artists have to adapt ourselves to into any situation so i am very very sure that the theater industry the entertainment industry is going to come back it will bounce back with a absolutely new normal super so who do you think out of the uh, telugu actors uh, you know can do really good on stage as a theater artist not not with those multiple shots and all that so who is that telugu actor why telugu actor okay any any south indian or any indian actor <laughs> okay <laughs> I'm not really into the uh, South Indian movie industry, though I have done a, a Telugu film recently. But um, I have not really acted with any of the big names or you know any of the Telugu actors as such. Okay. So any any Bollywood actor who would really do uh, off screen also on the stage also he can naturally act. I think Ranveer Singh will be a. you know fine actor on stage he has a he has a bubbling energy in him you know he he has also he has a lot of control on himself when he's acting but i think his emotions his face his eyes speak a lot um hmm. so i think that will really help him connect with the audience even when he's on stage good good so what was your favorite cartoon during your childhood days i mean now you you like thinking about expressions and you know कुछ कोई तो होगा जो यू नो सम कैरेक्टर हु वाज लाइक रियली इंप्रेस्ड यू कार्टून कैरेक्टर या वी ग्रो अप वाचिंग अ लॉट ऑफ कार्टून कैरेक्टर्स बट देयर इज दिस पर्टिकुलर मूवी आई मीन ऑफ कोर्स दैट्स एन एनिमेटेड मूवी द मूवी एरियल एरियल या सो इट्स इट्स अबाउट अ मामे हु एक्चुअली बिकम्स अ यू नो अ लाइव गर्ल बिकॉज़ शी फॉल्स इन लव विद अ प्रिंस and you know i was like oh wow you know prince charming and look at her expressions and you know her smile her overall personality so that was one movie which very you know fascinated me when i was young so okay i missed that movie so let me just check that out you should i think you have kids as well so i think it would be a good time yeah. during the lockdown down to watch the movie with them good so you're a morning person or a late night person i am a late night person totally so that don't wake me up in the morning <laughs> <laughs> i have to because my daughter has to go to school and i need to cook for her 
but I am a complete zombie in the morning. Late nights, yes. Good. So, what is the misconception people have about you? So, what is the common thing? Wo, matlab, dikta hai, punam aisi hai, but she is not that. Oh, this is easy. So, yeah. uh, people always think that I have major attitude problems. People think mm -hmm. that I am very high and mighty, and you know, it's very difficult to talk to her. It's very difficult to connect with her. And matlab, if I may say that we will go to she'll bite. That is the kind of impression people have. But it's absolutely the opposite. I think I can be one of the most friendliest and uh, you know, go-to person. So what is the hardest thing you've gone through in life? Hardest thing that I've gone through in life? Wow, I'll have to think. I've had a, I've led a very privileged life so far, you know, thankfully. Um, I cannot think of anything as of now. Change the question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you know, whenever, you know, uh, we talk about acting and, you know, speaking to actors, <clears throat> artists, uh, one thing comes in mind, especially, you know, you've been balancing your... Uh, professional life and uh, your passion properly. So have you tried your acting skills in your career, in your office anytime to get things done? Yeah, I'm watching this show. <laughs> 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 well, I hope not. But um, at work, see, I'm sure everybody has. <laughs> But uh, at home, at work, uh, yes, I mean, I take my uh, acting skills very seriously. Uh, my husband will vouch for it. Um, mm -hmm. Nothing major as such, but at work, yes, you know, sometimes ki, sir, hai, sir, matlab, I need to go home types, but nothing very major. Okay, good. Yeah, my younger one does that. So he needs something, he will be like, Please, please, he'll be like, so he'll, the expressions he'll make. <laughs> he'll like, oh, sure. Yeah, I mean, in the making. Hmm. Hello. So, how difficult is it to handle twins? <laughs> so, this is something, you know, which is like rare, you know, it, it doesn't happen for every mother. And so, how, how is it? What is the experience? Um. See, this is. This was like a one plus one offer, you know. <laughs> I, also wanted, I always wanted a second child, but uh, you know, twins run in my family. My dad was a set of twins, so we were very skeptical about having a second one. But I said, Nay, the first was a singleton, Nay hoka twins. And when we went for the scan, my husband is like, See, I told you, <laughs> so, <laughs> but um. Now that they are here, I think uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, they are they are just amazing. One will sleep, the other one will not sleep. You know, one cries for food, the other one is very calm, patient. So there is a gamut of emotions. There is a gamut of um, you know things that we are dealing with when it comes to twins. But uh, I am very blessed you know, to have three daughters. Twins is an amazing experience. Cool. So, what what is the best advice you've received till date? What is the best best advice I have received till date? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, a lot, actually, in the current situation and uh, otherwise also. Um, see, as a new mom, you deal with a lot of uh, postpartum depression. Even when I was, you know, I, when I had my uh, daughter. So what I get very flustered easily. My husband is the calming effect in my life. I am the more hyper one, being the true blue Punjabi that I am. So um, one advice which I have received and which I want to you know live by is that not to crib, not to look at the problem as such, but it's more important to look at the solution. So I have been trying to uh, use that in my life right now. And last 20 years, I mean, uh, there's a lot, lot 
lot of changes that have happened and uh, a lot of people go to goa get tattooed so are you and your husband one of them who are tattooed stamped no <laughs> not at all if you're asking if we believe in that uh, you know oh chalo aaj goa chalte hain wahan jaake you know jaake we'll go on the bike and do tattoos and all that no i think you know kids calm you down after a while um even before that like i'm a punjabi my husband is a marwadi uh, we dated for 10 years before we got married but um, i am a very spontaneous you know live in the moment kind of a person he is the one who will do who will think 10 times before doing something so you know he's prevented a lot of major mishaps in my life that to included <laughs> good good to know so if you had to talk uh, while you are sleeping what would those be please mujhe thodi jd dila do who was your best actor companion anchor companion yes, like you know on the stage you know there, there are uh, you know you will have multiple anchors who are accompanying you who was the best humorous one oh humorous one okay so um, i did a play called uh, rakt beach which is uh, a two and a half hour play and mm -hmm. uh, i play eight characters in that there are three people but i play eight characters eight mm -hmm. four sorry so my husband my co-actor um, uh, vinay verma sir he was he played my husband and he is also my uh, director so he was uh, you know the most serious the most uh, hilarious the most strict uh, you know person my co actor that i worked with it, it was a fantastic experience super and uh, if you if punam is dancing so how would she look at i mean compare yourself with a celebrity so if we have to imagine how punam dances so which I celebrity would i would look like uh, karina kapoor the reason being that she is not a trained dancer uh, okay. she can she fairly dance be presentable and uh, you know look decent matlab nobody will laugh looking at uh, me ki saying acha isko to bilkul dance nahi aata types so hmm. you teach me a couple of four five steps i'll do a good job so good So okay. similar to mine, you know, I am a good copycat. So somebody is dancing beside, I, I can, you know, uh, oh yeah, literally, I mean, if you, can... you know, try to mimic uh, the same steps. So that that's the best I can yeah. do. So you need to identify the best dancer in the group, you know, yes. and then go beside them and sort of copy <laughs> all their steps. You end up looking good. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Good. So. Uh, tell us uh, something about the movie you were talking about recently which you acted so um this movie is uh, it's a telugu movie and um, it's it's also released in a couple of theaters very low budget i did it primarily for the love of it more than you know making money or getting fame out of it the fact that you're on camera and you know you're you're acting you're using your skills you know those are the things that kind of keep me going so yeah the movie is called ugly and mm -hmm. uh, it's a murder mystery i play the um, role of a mother of a drug addict and mm -hmm. um, he is involved in one of the murders and then he dies and uh, for you know for more uh, in depth analysis of the movie i think you should watch it yeah so guys please watch it i have uh, watched the trailer recently so please do watch the trailer so you so uh, are you there in the glimpse of the trailer Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay. So there are about two, three scenes. I have two, three parts of the trailer. I am there. I'll watch it again to get a glimpse of that. Yes. So, yes. Punam, now you that can see. Sorry. sorry. I said now you can see. Arey, I know this person. <laughs> that would be my yes. telugu moment. <laughs> good good you did really well uh, very natural on rapid fire so let's quickly get on to the final question what would you do if you become the chief minister all right so i was looking forward to this question um one of the things which i you know would want to do 
given that I'm a lawyer and also uh, being on stage, being on spotlight somehow works for me. Uh, I, I would want to be a politician someday, God willing. Uh, you know, the movie Nayak also sort of inspired me ki why educated people actually don't end up in politics. I think that's the dichotomy of life. It's not fair. So um, if I were to be the chief minister for one minute, I would pass a resolution that would make me the chief minister for the next five years. And that would give me a lot of uh, chance to do good. But yes, I mean, seriously speaking, uh, the issue of uh, women and child welfare somehow is a subject which is very close to my heart. So given the atrocities against women and child in terms of trafficking, in terms of domestic abuse, uh, my first objective, primary objective would be to pass a resolution, to pass a law which makes culprits, uh, you know, scared of uh, committing a crime against women and, and against uh, children. So that would be my primary objective. And yes, I will have five years to you know, take care of other issues. Sure. I want to be a CEO for five years. Awesome. I'll be waiting, eagerly waiting to see that moment. Uh, yeah, a Punjabi CM. I hope you won't me. So, you can't see me. Oh, yeah. You can't see me. You can Nice. Good. Yeah. So, thank you, Poonam. I mean, thanks for taking time out. I mean, it, it went so natural. These 20 minutes have been really uh, inspiring. Just uh, the time just flew away. Uh, but. I think you're the best example for uh, some of the women who are still thinking uh, in the process of thinking what to do. I think if they have a passion for uh, any of the areas, I think they just have to go ahead and start doing it. So good. Any any words for the yeah. women who are still exploring what to do? I think it's been a fantastic opportunity talking to you, Ravi. Uh, for the first time, I am the one you know on the receiving end of uh, questions. Since uh, I've also done a lot of interviews with uh, celebrities, I was an anchor. I am an anchor for Doordarshan now that I've taken a, a break. So, yeah, I anchor for Doordarshan as well. I have anchored for uh, State Bank of India, State Bank of Hyderabad, and many other uh, you know, shows as such. But, uh, yeah, now I know how difficult it is to be on the other side. Uh, like you said, an advice for women, I think all the women, without exception, are doing a brilliant job of you know what they are doing success doesn't necessarily mean that you go out you work you earn money i think being at home taking care of a home itself is uh, uh, you know huge task uh, it's a thankless job so to all the women out there who are watching who are you know somewhere slightly low on self-esteem please don't i don't think uh, you know it is possible to run a house without uh, your support, without your presence, without your commitment. So, but yes, it is also, at, you know, uh, important that you live for yourself, uh, to do something for yourself. Sit down, talk to yourself, identify just that one thing, you know, which works for you. In my case, it is theater. But, you know, it can be anything for you. It can be, it can be crochet, it can be bonsai, it can be, uh, you know, music. It may not be revenue generating, but uh, I think it gives you peace. It gives you satisfaction uh, for yourself. So do that one thing that will keep you connected with yourself. And um, I think that will make the environment at home also much more relaxing and peaceful. So my only you know, final words. <laughs> Thank you, Poonam. Uh, that, that's really encouraging. So let's... Uh... You know, also ask other women to do something, you know, with their passion. So thanks for taking time out and doing this for us and encouraging other women. Thank you, Poonam. My pleasure. All Thank you so much for having me. Do. Loads of blessings for your kids, twins. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Bye, friends. Thank you. Thank you. Have a, have a uh, great evening. Have a great week ahead. Please stay safe. Wash your hands and let us all see through this uh, pandemic and come out victorious. Yes, let's do it. Yeah. Thank you.